I'm going to show you 10 tricks that will completely change the way you use CapCut. So let's get started. In the first tutorial, I will show you an easy way to blur a part of the video. When you open CapCut, tap on the new project and select the video you want to edit. To show you how to blur a part of the video, I will blur one photo from this video. Tap on your video and then select the copy option. Now tap on the overlay option and then match the videos. After that go to the effects and select the blur effect in lens section. Now match the effect to your video. Tap on object and select overlay. Now you can adjust blur intensity as you like. Go back, tap on overlay video and then tap on mask. Choose the mask you need, I have selected a rectangle mask. Now move the mask to the place you want to blur. You can adjust the size of the mask by moving the arrows. If the object in the video moves, you need to add a keyframe at that place and then move the mask every time the frame changes. In each frame, match the mask to the object you want to blur. After editing, my video looks like this. This trick is very simple and I'm sure you don't know about it yet. But now I'm going to show you how to create it. Tap on the text and then select the draw option. Adjust all the settings as I did and then draw a line on your video. Now match it with your video. Enlarge the line you created so that it covers the bottom of the video. After that export video. Tap on new project and select exported video. Now tap on overlay and select the original video. Enlarge it to fit the background. Now go to cutout and remove the background. After editing my video looks like this. This trick is very simple and it can make any video look cinematic. Now I'm going to show you how to create movie frame in CapCut. Tap on your video and then tap on mask. Select the film strip mask and then use two fingers to adjust it according to your preference. Now my video looks like this. In this part of the video I will show you how to add mobile phone frame to your videos. First you need to select the background video. Tap on the overlay option and select the screen record video you recorded on your phone. Now match the background to your video. Go back, tap on stickers and find the mobile phone frame sticker. Position it so that it covers the edges of your screen record video. Now expand the sticker to fit your video. Tap on overlay video and then select the mask option. Select the rectangle mask and then match it to your video. You can adjust the size of the mask by moving the arrows. This button on the left side will create rounded edges, so your video will fit better.
After editing, my video looks like this. I'm gonna show you how to create zoom in and zoom out animations. First, add a keyframe at a specific point where you want the animation to begin. Zoom in with two fingers after a few frames. Zoom in animation now look like this. If you want it to look better, select one of the graphs. If you want to create zoom out animation and return the video to its original position, add a keyframe where you want the animation to begin. After that, zoom out with two fingers. Now my video looks like this. The chromatic diffusion effect is very cool and now I'm going to show you where you can find it. Tap on effects and then tap on body effects. You will find this effect in hallucinations section. Select it and then match it to your video. After adding this effect my video looks like this. This effect is very useful if you want to create an interesting intro. Tap on text option and add your text. After you have added text, select font and color you like. Now go back and add a keyframe at the beginning. Tap on style and select glow option. Adjust it and choose the color you like. Now go to the end of the text effect and add a keyframe, then go back to the style option. Tap on glow, choose another color and save. After editing your video should look like this. This trick is best for content creators. Tap on new project and select one of your horizontal videos. Before editing, my video looks like this. Tap on ratio and then select 9 by 16 format. Now enlarge your video to fit the background. For now, my video looks like this. As you can see, I'm going out of the frame in this video. And now I'm going to show you how to fix it. Select the camera tracking option, tap a body and then tap start. The person in the video will be followed automatically. Adjust other settings as you like and then save. After editing my video looks like this. This trick can be very useful, but you can only use it on videos recorded with tripod. Tap on new project and select the video you want to edit. Before editing, my video looks like this. First you need to do is to tap on copy to duplicate your video. Now tap on overlay option and match it with first video. Move the video a bit and then tap on mask option. Select the circle mask and then place it over the object you want to remove. You can adjust the size of the mask by moving the arrows. This arrow will reduce the visibility of the edges. Here you can see the difference after using this trick. After using this trick my video looks like this. In this part of the video I will show you how to make text stand out. First add the text you want.
place it where you want it to be and then align it with your video. Choose the animations you like. Now tap on overlay option, then in stock video select black background. Enlarge it as I did and then match it to your video. Now go to mask option and select split mask. Place it to cover the part where the text is. Move this arrow to get this effect. Now you need to reduce the opacity as you like. Select fade in and fade out animations and then save. After editing my video looks like this.